Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking with Arthur about composing music. We'll get right into it. How did you get into composing music? So uh, when I first got into composing music, um, it was I was like eleven or twelve years old, and so I was I had just gotten into listening to a bunch of classical. Um, I I just gotten into um, like listening to classical music on the air, on sorry on the radio, and then so. I got so inspired by it that I eventually just said, no, I, I want to create this. So um, that night, I I got some music, um, some sheet music, empty sheet music together and started writing. And it's been a passion ever since. So you compose classical music then? Yeah. So when I first started composing, it was exclusively classical. Um, I, I want it to be like the Mozart to Beethoven that I listened to on the radio. And so um, around college, that's when I started to branch out because my teacher had to force me to um, compose non-classical music. And then so after college, it's been a huge explosion of composing other styles. So um, um, I've composed different styles of music for uh, different games that, I'm, that I've um, been asked to write for. Um, and for films. So it came from writing classical pieces to writing um, an Egyptian theme, to writing action music, to writing fantasy music. So yeah. So yeah, I started out classical, but I've definitely branched out to a, a bunch of other styles. Due to, due to my family having multiple people teach music, I know that when the common person says classical, they're not referring to the classical, era, they're referring to Broke to contemporary. Is that what you mean when you when you were saying classical earlier? Yeah, anything broke to contemporary. I know that my favorite my favorite era is the classical era, but whenever I say classical, broke to contemporary, uh, Bach to Gershwin, to you know. So, is composing music a hobby for you or a job? Um, definitely a hobby. Um, my paying job is a um, tech journalist, but on this side, I do compose. So um, I compose, I'm currently composing music for um, a, a film, um, a short film that one of my friends is making. And I'm also composing for um, a couple indie games. And um, other than that, I stream myself composing and I just kind of work on my own stuff. It was a career option for me in uh, back in college, but you know things changed. Do you know how to play any instruments, and does that help you when you're composing? Yeah, so um, I have very little experience with the violin and guitar. I played those in middle school, um, but my main instrument is piano. And it definitely does help me compose because that that's how I that's how I hear and that's how I really communicate. Like by playing the piano uh, and tapping out the melody in harmony, like that that that's how I compose. When you when you compose, do you write it on sheet music or do you use programs? And if you use programs, which ones? Yeah, so when I, my main composing I do, um, I use a DAW, and that program is Cubase. So um, that's primarily it. But whenever I want to notate music, to actually make sheet music, I use a, no, um, a program called Notion 6. Are those programs easy to learn? Yeah, I'd say they're both easy to learn. Um, using, okay, so Notion 6, it gives you uh, the basics. It's not as uh, fleshed out as, or it's not as complicated as something like uh, Sibelius or Finale. So Notion is extremely easy to learn. Um, when it comes to Cubase, Cubase is very composer friendly. It, it's uh, it's like an in, like an industry standard, along with something like Logic or um, or um, uh, I keep a Ableton. But yeah, I say Cubase is really easy to learn. It, it gets into the nitty gritty, but like you, you can definitely pick it up and start using it. Why do you, you say you 
you've said that you compose while you stream, and I know you stream on Twitch, so why do you compose on Twitch over play video games? Uh, it's kind of weird, because, like, <clears throat> I used to do both. And um, I used to stream and play, I used to compose and play video games. But the, the thing with me is, like, I streaming helps me get back into composing because um, it, it's a way of it's, it's very social. So people would come um, will come by and they'll talk and they'll and um, they will kind of keep it company because like whenever I'm composing on stream, it's just like composing regularly. It's uh, I'm just sitting there in my zone composing, and what Twitch does it just adds uh, it adds a community uh, aspect to it, and people will come by during the streams and talk and chit chat. And they'll either give me like, like some constructive criticism or they'll give me like praise and, and, and yeah, so that, that's why I do it. it it's, it's a social thing. As my penultimate question, any advice for people either looking at getting into composing or who already compose? Yeah, so I, one thing I would say is um, if you're looking into getting into composing, what I would say is think of composing as learning an instrument. I know um, composing is is def composing is different from performing using an instrument, but what I would say is um, just like any instrument, practice, 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 because uh, a lot of the time people will maybe have a symphony going through their head but they'll try to write it down and they'll struggle mostly because it takes practice getting the sound out of your head and just getting the sound that you want because as you practice you will learn more about you will develop your own specific style and you will learn more about orchestration about melody about harmony so um if if you compose a piece and it's not great don't don't say that you're not a good composer uh, keep practicing, keep working on it because um, just like just like learning the flute, you have to keep practicing before you you have your great, amazing performance. So yeah, that's my advice. Just keep practicing. As my final question, anyone or anything you would like to shout out this time? Yeah. So there is one composer who also composes on Twitch. Uh, his name is Daniel James, and he, he might not be like a household name, but he's definitely composed for some prop for, for some popular media. Um, uh, he's composed music for uh, Terminator Genesis, uh, Man Eater, uh, Diablo Immortal, uh, I think uh, Fantasy High, not Fantasy High. Um, no, I forgot the name of it. Monster High. And yeah, so um, really, really entertaining person. Um, you can find him on Twitch if you just look up Hybrid Two. And yeah, you can find him on YouTube as well. So that's the person I want to shout out. Thank you for making it this far on the video. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things like comment and subscribe if you haven't, and stay sane out there.